Hey everyone, welcome back to this brand new and exciting video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. Today I'm going to bring you this new exclusive thing that I've been working on is basically how to get the CEO armor together with the white joggers and the IAA badge. So this has been done using the bulletproof helmet glitch. I've been testing a lot with the glitch. I have uh, found some cool new things so stay on the channel stay up to date because lots of cool stuff will be coming using this glitch now this glitch is if you haven't heard of it before it's basically how to get the colored bulletproof helmets and it also allows us to basically merge our items together into one outfit and i've been testing a lot with it so that's why i'm bringing out this video because this is like a really exciting one so basically there are a couple of things that you need in order to basically get this all together before starting up the glitch. I'm going to be explaining you everything and I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can merge this together and how you can get this on your own male character. So make sure that you copy the exact steps and we're going to be starting. So the thing with this glitches is that you need two PS4 systems because this is only working on the PS4 or you need a friend who can log into your account on his or her system. So those are basically the requirements for this glitch in order to do it. And the good part is that you do not have any deleted characters and you do not have any deleted outfits. So you're basically adding a outfit to your already saved outfits list. So yeah, we're going to be starting with the preparation in order to get this. So make sure that you copy everything that I do in this video because if you change something slightly different then you will get a different end result. That's what I've experienced with this glitch and testing out the things. So make sure you do the exact same thing as me. So we're going to be starting off in the clothes store on the male character where we want this. And on the very first outfit slot, you want to save yourself the Red Joggers Work Dispute outfit, which has the CEO armor and the black turtleneck sweater. So you want to save that on slot number one. The link will be in the description box down below. How to save this red outfit, make sure you join as the second player. I've only tested it with the red joggers, so it uh, works with the red joggers. It will basically change the color to the white joggers. So that's what you must save on slot number one, together with a adversary bulletproof helmet. Now I added the white bulletproof helmet. I'm not 100% sure if it works with other colored helmets, but if you like add a orange, purple, pink or green helmet to your outfit, then it will work for sure. So make sure you have any of the adversariate colored bulletproof helmets on this outfit. You can glitch that on using the car method, entering the car, and as soon as you see that the helmet spawns off, apply the red joggers outfit and then you got it on there. So save that on slot number one. So as soon as you have that saved on slot number one, you want to move over to slot number two. And there you want to have your pair of white joggers and the IA badge. Now, the only way to obtain white joggers and the IA badge is through director mode. So I have the director mode glitch linked in the description box for you guys to get your pair of white joggers with the IA badge. So that will be linked down in the description box below. You can also do this without the IA badge, so only like the um, CEO vest and the white joggers. But you must need to have that saved on slot number two. Make sure that you remove the gloves and um, the pair of shoes doesn't actually matter. Those will just simply transfer over to the armor slot on number one. So on top of that, on outfit number two, you need to have this dome helmet saved. This is basically the right free dome. You want to make sure that you have that applied on your male character. So if you have your dome helmet applied on top of your white joggers outfits, save this on slot number two. And this is the setup in order to like transfer it over. So on slot number one, we have the red joggers with the adversary bulletproof helmet. And on slot number two, we have the white joggers, the IA badge, and we have the dome helmet. So now we are ready to basically do the glitch. So this is console number one. This is where we are starting in order to do this merge. 
So we're going to be starting off by applying our dome helmet outfit on slot number 2. Then you want to make your way outside of the clothes store, open up the interaction menu, go to style accessories and throw on a pair of sunglasses to make sure that the game saves. So you want to take a look at that yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. As soon as you see that and it goes away then you're ready to go. Then you can hold down on the d-pad and switch over to a story mode character and make your way into single player. So now as soon as we are here in single player we're going to be starting with this bulletproof method glitch. As soon as it is fully loaded in you now want to switch over to console number 2. So tell your friend to log into your account or switch over to your second PlayStation 4 and make sure that they start the game fresh. So they're logging into your account and they have to uh, start GTA all over again. So as soon as you are loaded into console number 2 on your account, you want to go to the online tab and make your way into choose character. Now on the choose character screen, you should see your male character with the dome helmet and the white joggers outfit. And because uh, the workaround has been found, I'm going to be doing this with the workaround method of course. So you want to hit X to select your male character. Then it will like load into online. You will see joining GTA Online in the bottom right corner. As soon as you see that, you want to press your PlayStation Home button. So here I'm going to be selecting it. It's walking away and here I see joining GTA Online in the bottom right corner. And then you want to press your Home button. Now if you press your Home button once and you're back on the home screen of your second PlayStation 4, you're ready to move over to console number 1. So back on console number one, you will see like um, your, you have been locked out because somebody else was on your account, blah, blah, blah. Just hit OK, lock back in and go back to the GTA 5 game. You should be back in story mode. All you have to do is make your way back over to an invite only session. Now it might kick you back to story mode with that alert message accepted and just make your way back over to an invite only session. Now as soon as we are back here in the invite only session, you want to open up the interaction menu, go to style and basically you now want to apply your red joggers armor outfit with the color red helmet. So then again you want to put on a pair of sunglasses so that the game basically saves. Now again as soon as you've seen the yellow save icon in the bottom right corner, hold down on the d-pad and switch back over to story mode. Now as soon as you are fully loaded back into story mode, do you can now switch over to console number 2. Now on console number 2, you will basically see that you are back into the cloud and it will say joining GTA Online. So you want to wait until you are in a new session with console number 2. Now if you load in with console number 2 in a new session, you should see that you are still wearing the outfit with the, with the uh, dome helmets and the white joggers. So if you did that, you're good to go. You did everything correctly up to now. So if your friend is doing this, what he or she must do is just open the interaction menu, go to ammo and just buy any type of ammo, full ammo or just uh, rounds. Doesn't matter, just buy any type of ammo. Now, as soon as you've done that, back out and you want to remove the glasses from your character. So make sure your glasses is set over to none. And this again will trigger a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. So as soon as you see the yellow save icon, then you're good to go on console number 2. From this point on, you do not need it anymore, so make your way back into story mode. And from this point, you can close down GTA 5, that's very important. Close the application, log out of the account, and your friend can go back to his or her account or whatever. Or if it's your second console, then just simply log out. So now we're moving back over to console number 2, and this is basically the end of the glitch. You want to make your way into a invite only session. So this is back on console number one. You should load into an online session and if you get that error message again, make sure you accept it. And as soon as you're back in single player, go back to an invite only session. Now this is where the magic basically happens. It created a magic slot and it made the um, CEO armor outfit and or white joggers outfit into one outfit, as you can see in the gameplay right here. So what we now have is our CEO armor or IA badge and the white joggers merged together. Now what it also did is it changed the helmets to the 10 colored bulletproof helmets. That should also happen to you because the dome helmet is the 10 colored helmet components. And it also like merged my Tron shoes onto the outfit like I told you guys before. Um, the race gloss will not merge on this if you guys were wondering. 
I already tested that out, but it will not work. So I'm trying to figure that out, how to get race gloves together with the CEO armor. And if I find that out, then I will give you guys a tutorial for sure. So now from this point, then you can basically merge CEO armor, white joggers and IA badge onto a creator mode transferred outfit or whatever that you want to do with it. So this is the first thing that I actually got with this glitch. So I thought I'd let you guys know with a tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the vid this video. If it worked for you, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask that in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel of Game Time Life for more glitches and outfits and upcoming videos with this glitch. I have lots and lots of more to show you guys. So keep an eye on the channel and of course I hope to see you back in the next upload. Bye everyone!